Right. There, are, there are definitely ways, in other words, to cope with this experience to make it a better one. And mine right now is making music. Is yeah. I mean, on the day that the uh, Ukraine war broke out, I've never been so affected by any conflict. Never. You know, it was a reaction that I didn't see coming. And I think a lot of people have been kind of caught on the hop in that way. And I was trying to make music that day. I was in the middle of, I was just taking like a break. And I, I think I looked at the news and it said, yeah, it's starting. And it just messed with me to the point where I thought, well, I just can't create. I can't make happy music. And that's all I really want to do. And then I thought, wait, this is actually an opportunity to transmute my feelings into something. So given that the album I was working on was about being a different being, different aspect version of myself off in the future, looking back on this time, I created a piece called The Distant Memory of War, in which this version of me is looking back at this moment mm -hmm. and this conflict and how I feel now. But from that distance, it's all very attenuated. So it has this kind of sparse, ambient feel to it. And yet I know what it's about. And I know it was capturing the feelings that I had. And I felt purified on the other side of it when I would finished. Mm -hmm. It, it had just passed through me and yeah. allowed me at least for that day to cope and that was I think my first real experience of what I would call art mm -hmm. which is that transmuting that that willful focus transmuting of experience into another form And it was at that moment that I feel like I really understood the true power of art mm. for the self, at least. I mean, and and strangely, I when I put the album out, you know, I shared it with friends and the reaction I got, people kept coming back to me and saying, yeah, I really like the distant memory of war. I mean, all the rest of the album is so put together. It's so, I mean, a lot of those tracks are 30 hours of tinkering and work and, and, and minute adjustments. But the distant memory of war happens in like maybe an hour, something like that, yeah. that I just found 
the sounds and I found the feel and I found the tempo. I found it all really quickly. So I can only take from that, that something in that reached them. Yes. And maybe they really understood what I was saying and it touched something in them. It, it reflected something in them. I wonder actually also, also because like with the creative process it's like when you you look at music some of the finest music of uh, the the last few decades and the bands will say oh yeah yeah we toiled over this album we toiled over this album this track which has been there forever and everybody loves we made it in about an hour you know yeah. it's yeah. kind of like you're almost channeling this this is what's supposed to go out right Dark Side of the Moon is something like that. They were brought together to create this beautiful piece of music and everything yeah. like happens. Um, so I think that, yeah, the creative process is not necessarily, it's not a toil thing. It's kind of when it just happens, that's real. That's kind of yeah. connection to yeah. our higher self. It's connection to something that's allowing you to be a channel for something that you're creating. That's the wow. thing. That's the miracle. 